And now we focus on education. We asked every school superintendent in Monroe County, pick one state mandate that you would get rid of. That's right, and they say the one that they pick will save money and make the experience in your classroom for your child, that is, and his or her teacher better. So in tonight's New York State Exposed Education Report, Berkeley Breen took the one mandate picked by your school leaders and asked our state leaders, why not get rid of it? Now, Burke, what's the mandate superintendents want cut? Hey, Scott, it's the state mandate on teacher evaluations. Uh, it's called APPR. Now, the state suspended using tests to evaluate teachers, and that's a start. But the superintendents say the system is complicated, it's a waste of money, and it does not help your children learn. I think our teachers are stressed. I think they're frustrated. Joy Sincata has three children in Pittsford schools. She likes her teachers. Her children do well. But she says the state-mandated teacher evaluation is a drag on morale. I can't help but believe that that impacts um, their ability to be effective in the classroom. That ruler really helps us out. Here's what we did. We asked every school superintendent, name one mandate that, if removed, would save your district money, increase your flexibility, and not affect children in the classroom. That was a pretty easy question for us. Mike Pirro, the Pittsburgh superintendent, is the chair of the County Association of Superintendents, and he spoke to us on their behalf. Immediately my mind went to the mandate around APPR. Pirro says Pittsburgh and every district in Monroe County already had a teacher evaluation system in place. When the state imposed its system on schools, it cost Pittsburgh schools $115,000. Just in the money we've spent on APPR, we could have hired several teachers by now. Do you think teachers are better now than they were prior to this mandate? No. Everyone I talked to told me to get rid of the mandate would require an act of the state legislature. So that's who I went to. Why wouldn't you do something like that? Well, as you know, we, we have a moratorium right now on the teacher evaluation system, particularly as it relates to state testing. I would be persuaded that as long as we meet basic standards and we're comfortable that the evaluations are being done properly, I would have a little trouble turning it over to local communities. They're saying they can do it. Yeah. You know, we, we talked to them. They say, look, we evaluated our teachers before the state ever mandated us to do it. No, I agree. I've heard that argument. I've talked to them. So uh, get it done this session then? Probably in the next 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> no, well, but seriously, well, I mean, what, a, by the end of June, get it done. Well, look, I, I think they would have to advance a proposal, and I met with the school boards. They didn't advance a specific proposal, but I'm certainly happy to look at one. Majority Leader Joe Morelli says the district-level teacher assessments would have to meet state standards. Mike Pirro says their old one did. After all, about 96% of Pittsburgh students graduated on time. Something was going right. So I asked the superintendent, what would you say to state lawmakers and the governor if they were sitting across the table from you? You would say, get, get rid of this. If, if they were here right now, I would share with them what we had before, what we have now, and I would talk to them about why what we had before is better. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to see if the local superintendents make a specific pr proposal to take back their teacher assessments, and then we're going to see if the state legislature is willing to do it. Jen and Scott? There's a lot to this. What are we working on for six? Well, we're going to ask the same question to Senator Joe Robach. He's a member of the Senate Education Committee, and I think when you hear his answers, you're going to come away from that story thinking, and from this story too, there are lawmakers who are willing to make this change. All right, look forward to that report in the upcoming hour. Thank you, Berkeley. Now,